Hello, today we are looking at reviewing and talking about My Vibes by Fluffy Audio. It claims to be the most accurate vibraphone library ever. Now it does have some ground to stand on. It has two mic positions, six layers for short articulations, three different mallets, and three round robins, so a lot going for it, but I think we'll be the judge whether it's the best one ever. Uh, it will cost you 69 euros and require the full version of Contact, but you can grab it on sale. I know I did, I think it was under 10 euros uh, on Black Friday, it was a while ago when I got it, but ultimately we're gonna be comparing it as well with a company with a bit more of a reputation, Spitfire Audio. We're gonna be looking at the vibraphone from their percussion, Joby Berg's library. Uh, I know that's 349 pounds, but again, you can get this on sale and this does have most, if not all, percussion instruments, 50 instruments total. Um, so I think it's a good comparison, at least just looking at the vibraphone itself from this library. I have done a full walkthrough and review on this product as well, so you can check that out, links in the description, and the links, as always, in the description, so you can read it yourself. Let's just jump into the instrument itself. This is the user interface, very friendly. As we can see, we've got our mic positions, mallets, equalizer, reverb, ADSR, although just AR, because attack and release, the rest isn't there. And then playing modes as a real mode and a piano-like mode. Velocity control, you can have a bit of fun playing with this um, and other controls here to kind of fine tune how you like your velocity. And as well, there are a number of different patches. We've got My Vibes 2, we've got electric piano, dynamic filters, dynamic filter hard, full attack, My Vibes itself, as well as some motor ones as well. But we'll start with the box standard My Vibes. Let's just jump in, play it out the box, and then start picking it apart, looking at the raw sound by stripping everything off of it and comparing mic positions, comparing mallets. But let's just, out of the box, have a play. So there it is out of the box, quite an intimate sound in all honesty, even though that does have a bit of theatre reverb on as well. But as I said, let's strip it down, turn the reverb completely off. We've got the mid and we're just going to listen to the standard microphone. So that's the standard, let's move over to our alt. The only thing I'm really noticing difference, it does sound, I guess, a little bit more distant, but it, it in all honesty, it just sounds a bit more compressed. Um, there is a nicer stereo field with the second. You really do have that sweep across, while with the standard, it's all a bit more central and in front of you, while this one, even though it says two mics, I think there's multiple mics within those mics. The standard uh, could be just mics in front while the others is quite a wide almost outrigger ish sort of vibe at least i'm getting from it um but not a huge difference i would have wanted a little bit more let's stick them both on so, so we've just heard the mid what's the soft sound like Ooh. Nice dynamic range there, so it did say it's six layer, so a lot going for it there. I really like the soft, in all honesty. Mid, uh, a little bit harsher, and this is probably going to be quite brash, yeah. And if you wanted to bring some of that off, you could mess with the equalizer. Just to bring it the top bit, just a bit under control. but it doesn't take away from that harder hitting sound. No, really nice. You've got a good variety there. It's nice having the different mallets. Um, and let's stick some whole reverb on. Of 
course you can stick your own reverb on as well but in all honesty these are still quite intimate sounds but what's nice about intimate sound is you can draw the sound away a bit using your own reverbs or maybe just adding a little bit more on here maybe not all that much but you get what i mean so overall nice little sound there let's click on real see what we get from that Real is more just short. Yeah, I know it says real, but I've played a vibraphone before and if you hit it, it does ring out. I know it says piano-like, and I know I am playing on a piano. But real, you still have a ring to it. So I would have more have called that maybe a short staccato patch. But nevertheless, nice, although can I do that with the... I can still do that with that one, so... Oh, questionable there. Ah, there you have it. So let's move on to some of these different patches as well. Uh, I'm gonna try and experiment. Electric piano, this one sounds interesting. What's nice about this is they've extended the range, so on the other ones you've probably noted there is not much range there, although probably within the standard vibraphone range, but this one you really have quite a large range to play with, so stretching the samples a bit there, but still have those layers and round robins, as well as the different mallets. Oh, maybe not. No, yep, you still get those different. And of course the mics as well, so you can have at it a little bit more, which is nice to see. But moving on, the other one I really want to show off is the motor as well, because the mod wheel controls that. And you can hear that there. The lower the mod wheel is, the slower that vibrato, I guess, is. Now this is not unique to this um, patch or library, I should say. This is, you'll find this on most paid for vibraphone libraries. What would be nice as well is maybe a rolls patch as well, because I guess you could do it. Um, we'll go on My Vibes 2 and try it, maybe with the real, uh, let's see how it sounds. Um, but it is nice having that rolls patch just to give it a bit more realism across, um, which kind of leads us in moving into our comparison, which is Spitfire Audio's um, tuned vibraphone. Now there is only one patch for this, but we do have three mic positions, I believe up to eight round robins as well. And what I like about the mic positions here is there is a notable difference. So that's the close, decatry, you'll notice a bit more distant. So huge notable difference there, and then ambient, even further back. Although we do not have the different mallets with this one, we still have that motor sustain which we control with the mod wheel. so not unique to that other library. And um, while the normal is more that real sort of patch, not the piano-like, but you can get that with the motor sustain, even if we turn it right down there. You have that nice drawn out sound there. Uh, but you also have a rolls one with the which, especially with the close mic, you get right in your face, that nice clicky realism that I want from a Rolls. Which we're lacking from the other library, but we do have the three different mallets, a more almost intimate sound, but less space. So really between the two, I don't know, I'll let you decide which one you prefer. My, I personally veer more towards this one. 
um, but I do like the fact I have the different mallets here and if I do want a harsher sound I will go here and use this one instead and maybe stick a reverb on it to give it some distance if I require that distance um, but I'll let you decide which one's your favorite leave it down in the comments and we'll see which one wins um, but not a bad product overall I've enjoyed having it it's a really easy user interface. I like the fact I've got the different mallets and that's kind of what I use this for is if I want a softer or harder sound because with this one, there's one sound. Um, but that's up to debate, I guess. But thank you so much for watching. Links as always are in the description. I'll see you in the next video.